Hi, and welcome back to the intergalactic headquarters of Petmopolitan Pet Food. Today I'm going to introduce our famous pet chef, Johnny, and he's going to talk about elk antlers. Johnny? Okay. Johnny! Uh, don't forget, I am the famous pet chef, Johnny Sunshine, uh, here to talk to about elk antlers. Now, the first thing I need to tell you as a pet chef is that I don't make these things. The elk do. There's four grades of elk antlers. We offer only the highest quality grade. You can get elk antlers anywhere, trust me. But if you know your elk antlers, and that's what we're going to talk about here in the next 30 seconds or so, the four grades of elk antlers. Prime number one brown. It's the highest quality, been laying on the ground but hardly at all. Not treated with any chemicals. Prime number two brown. What do you mean, Pet Chef Johnny, laying on the ground? And and are any animals hurt in this process? Oh my, oh my. Yeah, see the elk, unlike other horned animals, these are antlers, not horns. Horns stay on the animal. Antlers are shed annually. Elk Bull elk at the end of rutting season, after they have to fun, they shed their antlers and our vendor ranchers uh, go around and collect the antlers. They know where the bulls are and they have a certain territory, they go out there and they collect the antlers. We get the highest quality possible. These things, the bulls shed those antlers and our guys are out there within a day, a week, no more than a month and they've already collected the antler. Prime number one brown. Prime number two brown, well, you know, they didn't find the antler until a few months, six months later. It's been laying around the ground. Could it have to be treated with um, pesticides in order to make sure that they're not transporting pesticides across state lines, etc. Gray and chalk, those are the third and fourth grades. That means the antler's been laying around the ground for who knows how long, could be six months, could be a year, could be more than that and they're infested with parasites and bacteria. They have to be treated before they can be sold. They tend to be much lighter weight than the prime number one brown, and they also tend to be far more common. You're gonna find the chalks and the grays primarily in your chain stores, mass chain stores, and the prime number two browns. You'll see some, but you get a pick through to find the good ones. Anyway, good news is if you want Superior, highest quality elk antlers, hand gathered, natural shit, prime number one brown. All you have to do is contact Pet Mopolitan Pet Food. Great. Thanks, Pet Chef Johnny. Elk antlers are a natural chew and are very good for dogs, teeth, and gums. For more information about elk antlers, please go to PetMopolitanPetFood.com. And thanks again, and have a pet safe day.